Hey, good afternoon, Leo, and welcome to Tree of Life Tarot, and welcome to your February 2021 tarot reading. I'm excited to be here and connect with Leo's energies today. Today is February the 6th. It's a Saturday afternoon. It's about 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on my end. So whether your sun sign is Leo or your moon arising sign is Leo, some of you may be here checking up on a Leo. Others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Whatever the energies were that brought you here to this tarot reading today, trust those energies. Whatever prompted you to click on this link, trust that. Because I feel like, I feel confident that there's a reason for that. That there's messages that are meant for you to hear in today's tarot reading. Messages that could possibly help you on your journey to create more joy and happiness and more love and abundance in your life. So Leah will have a fantastic uh, tarot reading set up for you today. Uh, first thing I want to do is share with you your astrological forecast for the month of February. We're going to look at the February. We're going to see which planets are going to be shifting and moving into which houses, specifically impacting Leo energy. So I'm going to do the best job I can to describe these energies to you and the planets and the houses. Um, keep in mind, Leo, I'm not an astrologer. I learn from, I'm fascinated with astrology and I learn from the astrologers. So I'm just taking a lot of what I've learned and sharing it with you. I feel like it's great information because if I'm stepping into a month, if I have an idea of what the energies look like ahead of me, the different energies throughout that month at different times, I can embrace those energies because I have an awareness of it. So I'm able to create, manifest a better outcome for myself. So that's going to give us kind of a big picture look energetically of what's taking place for Leo in the month of February. Uh, and then we're going to do a tarot reading, which is going to give us a chance to hone in and see how many of these energies are going to manifest more specifically for you in the month of February. So Leo, keep in mind, this is the second tarot reading for February that I've done for you. If you haven't had a chance to watch the first reading, as I recall, Leo had a fantastic tarot reading earlier in February. Uh, I encourage you to go to here on the channel, go to my playlist and click on the Leo reading for February and give yourself a chance to watch that. So we may be picking up on the same Leo energies and it'll be a continuation of that story or we may be picking up on some entirely different Leo energies. We just have to see. Okay. Leo, let's get started. Uh, getting into your astrological forecast, you know, the month of February is a big month for all the zodiac signs, and it's a little bit of an unusual month planetarily, because with all the zodiac signs, you have several planets that are all positioning themselves into one house. So you're no exception to the rule, Leo. For you, these the positioning of these planets are taking place in your seventh house of relationships. So on the 1st of February, you have the Sun, Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn all positioned together and lined up in your 7th house of relationships. And then on the 2nd, the planet Venus, the planet of attraction and love, also comes in and joins the party in your 7th house. And then on the 11th, you also have a new moon taking place in your 7th house of relationships. So Leo, February's a lot of energies focused for you on relationships in your life. With so much energy focused on your seventh house, it's important to look at the energies in the house that six away from the seventh house. So there's so much energy in your seventh house. We move six houses away and it takes us into your first house. The first house is all about you, right? So we go to that house to, in order to be able to balance our energy because there's a lot of heavy energy, energy that's directed for Leo in regards to your relationships. So if you're feeling the heaviness of those energies, you balance those energies out by pulling back in and getting focused on you. Okay, so this is a time to think about the kinds of relationships you'd like to have in your life. This month is the time. This is a time to create and manifest love, new friendships, uh, close by or friendships over the internet, new business contacts. It's a great month to reach out, connect and extend your social network. On the 19th of February, Leo, we have the sun coming to join Neptune in your 8th house. This is a perfect time to study, for some of you, the metaphysical. And by metaphysical, we're talking about subjects like astrology, tarot, numerology, maybe channeling, learning about past lives, human behavior, psychology. Uh, this is also a perfect time to open up your heart to others, to show kindness and compassion. Some of you may find somebody entrusting you with something valuable of theirs during this time. And you may be helping them take care of this valuable item. 
On the 21st of February, we have Mercury going direct again. So this means that you can negotiate and sign contracts now much more easily with fewer problems and fewer changes to have to anticipate. On the 27th, we have a full moon happening in your second house. This energy shines a light on your finances. For some, this, this may bring changes for some of you in the energy of finances in your life. Could be a new job, a new career. Leo, keep yourself open to the talents and abilities you have right now that could be shared with others. So, Leo, just be mindful of what gifts and talents do you have right now that you could possibly create with. Uh, maybe create a channel or create a website, uh, create a, a business opportunity for yourself. So, 27th of the month, full moon, shining a light for you, Leo, on those energies. Okay, gets exciting now. Let's get into your tarot reading. So... I wanted to pull an energy from my Power of Love activation set to take us into your tarot reading to see what's the strong energy at hand for Leo in the month of February. And here's what comes in for you. So we have detachment. Interesting. It's maybe the first time I pulled this energy. It says, You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. So Leo, you're releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideas of love. You're releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. So we have this energy of detachment, which is about releasing and, and letting go. I wanted to get some clarification for you on this energy, Leo, to better understand it. So here's what came out for you. Really interesting. So we have the Justice card, and attached to it, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles represents the energy of, of work. So this could be work or your career. It's an area in your life where you're devoted and spending a lot of time, spending a lot of energy and focus. With the Justice card coming in, right, this can, this can represent the energy of, of, a, of a ruling, a legal ruling um, coming in regarding something connected to work and career, an area in your life where you're investing and you're spending a lot of energy and a lot of attention. So getting more clarification for you, Leo. Here's what comes in next. We have healing begins for you. So this is equivalent to the Six of Swords. Notice she's been behind the curtains, right? And I feel like this healing begins. It's beginning in this energy right here because she's coming forward and she's beginning to poke her head through the curtains. So we're talking about the energy of healing and then we're building upon, you know, detachment and this energy of Libra. Some of you may have a Libra in your life. So getting clarification. With this healing begins, we have the judgment card. So this judgment card could be a legal ruling for some of you. Because we have judgment and then we have Libra together and it's connected to, you know, to work. So some of you may be waiting to hear back on something. Uh, maybe some type of ruling on something. I say that because... Next to it, we have the Four of Swords, which is the universe letting you know that you can take time to rest and recuperate from this energy of judgment. So I like to think that that may represent the energy. It could be a favorable ruling for you. I say that because coming in next, we have the Star card, which is representing the energy of Aquarius. This is an energy that comes to us many times after, after we went through the energy of healing, where we're feeling very balanced afterwards. So some of you may have an Aquarius in your life. You may be attached or in a relationship with an Aquarius. She's very balanced energy with a foot in the water. She's balanced with her emotions and her feelings. And she's balanced with her presence here on earth. Not taking any chances. She's standing underneath eight stars. So I'm in the energy of wanting to manifest all of my hopes and dreams. And this is the energy that I'm coming out of and feeling as I'm working through this healing energy. Okay. Coming in next for you, Leo, we have the Five of Pentacles, and attached to it, we have the Seven of Swords. So the Five of Pentacles represents that energy. It's a limiting energy, feeling like I've been left out in the cold. The Seven of Swords is going through the motions, right? So I need to mention this. This won't apply necessarily for every Leo, but some of you may be in this energy of the Seven of Swords waiting to hear back you know, to, on this judgment call so that you can free yourself from this energy of, you know, the worry, the concern, the anxiety, maybe the fears that are attached, you know, to you, all connected to the Five of Pentacles, which is a limiting energy of feeling left out in the cold. 
Leo, takes us over to your next energy. Now you have the, an awareness and it comes to us with your energy coming to us as control. This is about you paying attention, paying attention to your environment. What are you paying attention to exactly? Well, we have the chariot card coming in for you, which represents the energy of cancer. So some of you may be connected to a cancer in your life. So I'm, I'm paying attention and I'm looking at the changes that are coming in now, the changes that I'm experiencing and feeling after this judgment, after this ruling, after I've had a chance to heal myself from these energies. And as I'm looking at these changes, what am I paying attention to? I'm aware of two energies, right? I'm aware of the Five of Cups, where limiting energy, where I'm focused on the, the, the limiting beliefs, the restrictions, the resistance that I'm experiencing. It could be sadness and grief, where I'm, it's preventing me from seeing the two full cups that are behind me. So this is an energy that I'm aware of, right, that I'm paying attention to. I have my eyes on the prize in this energy. And your prize, in this case, Leo, is right here, the Three of Wands, right? Rather than focusing on the three cups that are tipped over, I'm, I'm focusing on these other three, right? These other, I'm going to say three pinnacles, because we're going to see three pinnacles that are going to come up here in just a minute. But I'm focused on these three wands instead. I'm looking at the future, right? With hope, with brightness, with optimism. Okay, Leo, coming in next, we have... The Knight of Swords rushing in, bring you the Emperor energy. So the Knight of Swords, he brings a truth, right? So this truth is rushing in. It's this truth that's bringing you the energy of the Emperor, which is feeling in your power again, right? I'm feeling in my power. I'm not feeling Five of Cups kind of energy. I'm not feeling Five of Pentacles kind of energy where I feel like I've been, I've been left out in the cold. And it may be this judgment call that's coming in that makes me brings me this truth and gives me my power back. Okay, Leo, continuing. Takes us to the next energy, which is well-deserved reward. So it's kind of fascinating. You know, this figure right here, he's standing on three pillars right here. Those three pillars, right? Were they these three cups that were tipped over? I don't think those three cups brought him those pillars. I think it was your ability to direct your attention and your focus towards the prize shown as these three of wands are these three pinnacles bringing you your well-deserved reward which is represented by the energy of the nine of pentacles so i'm in this energy of now i'm ready to receive my reward to clarify this here's what comes in for you i have the queen of wands and attached to it i have the hierophant energy so I had the Emperor energy here earlier. So I'm seeing a lot of fire here in your tarot reading today, Leo. It makes sense because you're a fire sign. But here's my spiritual truth. It's attached to the Queen of Wands. So I'm ready to run with it. I'm trusting my feeling. I'm trusting my intuition. This is Queen of Wands is an action taker. I'm ready to create. I'm ready to manifest. And I'm manifesting this spiritual truth. It gives me my strength. My companion is the lion. Leo, coming in next. We're looking at your energy again, coming right here to us as the strength card. So Leo energy right here, it's your willingness to take the courage, to take, to have, to take a chance right here. Just like she takes the chance to reach down and cup the chin of the lion. It may snap at her, but it doesn't. And when she does it, she knows she took that chance and it, she knows, I feel my courage within me now, right? It's my courage that's brought you, Leo, right? To this well-deserved reward at the top of this pinnacle. Energy is coming in next for you. Come here as the temperance energy. So again, more fire and attached to it we have the empress energy. So Sagittarius energy here by way of zodiac, this would be Libra or Taurus. We had Taurus earlier here in your tarot reading. So some of you may be connected to a, a Taurus. But all of this is happening for you, Leo, and it's all happening in divine timing. And it's you're the one that's creating it, and it's your balancing of your energies that's bringing it. And the way you're balancing your energies is you're doing it with the Empress energy of really feeling your value, feeling your worth. And I don't know what it is about this judgment call, right? But I feel like it's this judgment that comes in that really it frees you from a lot of heaviness that you've been feeling. I feel like it's probably a favorable ruling for you. 
But here you are feeling your power again. And I have to mention, Leo, we have the Empress energy and then we also have the Emperor energy, right? So this is this can if this is a, a relationship. This is a power couple for you, Leo. Fantastic. And these this couple moves towards the Ace of Pentacles, which is representing a beginning. And this is a beginning that is tangible, that you can feel and experience and live in your life. And notice the colors in this beginning. They're warm, they're friendly, they're loving colors. It's a beautiful beginning. Okay, Leo, I think I'm done with this portion of your tarot reading here on YouTube. I want to do an extension on your tarot reading, and I want to get some clarification on some of these energies. So for those of you that want to follow me over to Vimeo, you can do so by scanning below and clicking on the Vimeo link found just below this tarot reading. Uh, I want to get some clarification on the Justice card, also on the Eight of Pentacles, which is representing the energy of work. I want to get some clarification on the Star card. Uh, clarification on the Five of Pentacles. Clarification on the Empress as well as the Emperor energy. And then clarification on the Hierophant Taurus energy that showed up and possibly even Sagittarius energy. Those represent the energies of the Zodiacs, right? So they, these could represent the energies of somebody that you're connected to in your life. I'd like to get clarification on these energies. And then I just want to see what the journey ahead looks like for Leo moving forward from here. So I'm going to pull some energies on that. So for those of you that are interested in following me over, I encourage you to click on the Vimeo link and join me over on Vimeo. For the rest of you, this is, I think, where we say our goodbyes. Hope you enjoyed this reading and you're open to the energies that were here that showed up for Leo and the messages that were here. And I hope these messages help you, Leo, or the collective on your journey in life. That the messages and the guidance here help you to be able to create and manifest more love and abundance and more joy and happiness in your life. If any of you are interested in a personal reading, just send me an email at treeoflifetarot, the number nine, at gmail.com. Love to schedule a time to set up a personal tarot reading for you. Okay, Leo, thank you again for all the love and the support. Thank you for those of you who have chosen to support me and follow me over to Patreon. I appreciate your love and your support. Couldn't do it without all of you. Okay, Leo, wishing you all the very best. You have an exciting February to look forward to. Thanks.